Hey good people, it's the new moon and time to set some intentions. My name is Rick Astor and this reading is especially for the new moon of April 20th, 2023. And this is not just an ordinary new moon, this is a total solar eclipse, especially in northwestern Australia. Listening with your heart is the theme for this reading. An eclipse connects us to the distant past in the far future and it shakes things up. Sometimes it makes rapid changes. I feel that listening with your heart is going to connect us to the past and the future, allow us to gain resources that we don't seem to have in the present. Now let's see what the situation is and where we're going. This is with the Light Seer's Tarot. The card flipping over to get us started is Judgment in reverse. And that's for the present situation along with the Hanged Man in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. Where things are heading, Temperance in reverse. Page of Swords in Reverse, Knight of Wands. There's a card that's not reversed. Thoughts, Two of Cups in Reverse, Feelings, Six of Wands, Supporting Energies, Nine of Swords in Reverse, and the outcome, Seven of Cups in Reverse. Where things stand is that you can't make a decision, and the reason you can't make the decision is you know you're missing something. And you can see that things aren't going together, and this may just be in your way of looking at them, that you can't piece things together, but you feel a lot of potential in this situation. And where things are heading, it's not like everything is resolved, but you're moving forward with confidence. The supporting energy is the hard-won lessons of the past. This may not feel like a supporting energy, it may feel like you've been through a lot, but that will actually help you here. The outcome, Seven of Cups in Reverse, you're going to need to make a decision from maybe an overwhelming number of options. Well, this looks like a messy situation, but let's see if we can figure this out. Starting with the Judgment in Reverse, is there some other reason why you can't arrive at a decision? Something that's blocking you from taking charge of the situation, perhaps? And I am seeing the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Well, you're trying to do too many things at once. And that would be a challenge to try to plot your course in the middle of juggling everything that's going on. Now, the card that really stands out here is the Six of Wands. You're feeling confident in spite of this messy situation. What is that about? And the Wheel. Well, you're feeling lucky. You know that things have to change, but why would they be changing in your favor? Let me, let me see where this feeling of confidence comes from. The Six of Cups in reverse. Well, you've made a, a separation from the past. You feel like you've made a clean break in something, and that allows you to move forward in a way that you hadn't before. Now, the Nine of Swords in reverse. What is this lesson from the past that we're looking at. The Emperor in Reverse. Well, this is about learning from mistakes. There were situations in the past where you tried to take charge of things, but you didn't have the knowledge or the attention, the willingness to work that would make that work, and you won't make that same kind of mistake again. Now, in the outcome, we're looking at a lot of things to choose from. So let me see if I can get any clarity on what those might be. Having the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe having to choose between the new things you're looking at and the old things that you're holding on to from the past. Or maybe it's a question of how much stability you're willing to give up in order to let the new things in. Let me get another card here. And this is the Queen of Wands. And we have the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Six of Wands all together. So this is 
about as confident as you can get in terms of where things are going. So this is a good progression from the past into the future, starting out learning from some mistakes, but then making a break from the past and being confident that things will be better, that you're in a position to make things change now, to get a different result. You're not sure how you're going to make this decision, but you know it's going to come out well. So gaining confidence is the theme here. I'll get one more oracle card for guidance. There's something here where the key to moving forward is simply this confidence or believing that you can move forward. And that's the key change it looks like you'll want to try to make in this particular moon. Opening to love is the oracle card. And this comes from the gateway oracle cards. So you're more open to receive, you're more accepting of yourself. This is a big part of what will make the difference in these two weeks. Well, I hope that that gives you some ideas, helps set the stage for this new moon and the two weeks between the new moon and the full moon. Usually I advise to pick one intention for the new moon, something that you can focus on for two weeks, try to make a focused change between the new moon and the full moon. But this time, with a solar eclipse, I kind of want to say go for it, to take anything that's bothering you or where you feel that there's a potential for change and put it on your list for the new moon. You can state the intention that you're going to shake things up in your life in a big way, that wheel of fortune is turning, things can only get better. Good luck with setting those intentions, bringing them into reality. Happy new moon.